I just purchased news so you didn't have to. Right now, it's on a lifetime deal, and I think it's a sweet deal that you can grab right now. Now, it's not all peaches and cream, but I think it's a fantastic deal that you're gonna get right now. It might become my favorite tool. Now, I just got off on a call with Cheetos. And no, it's not this guy. It's actually a guy named Cheetos from the team at Snooze. And they explained to me how it actually worked. And practically, I'm gonna show you on this video how it works way easier than what they have. So right now, this is Snooze, and I have my connection already right here. Now, you're gonna connect your email account right here with a Gmail, Outlook, or with IMAP. So if it's not from Gmail or Outlook, just connect it via the SMTP feature right here. Now, once you have connected, you'll be good to go. Now, it's kind of weird how you get started because it's not like one, two, three. You gotta get started with categories. Now, why categories? Because categories are gonna help us make the rules. So what you wanna do in categories is categorize the type of emails that you are going to receive. And I'm gonna provide you an example with my use case, which is what I'm gonna use it for. Now, I get a lot of emails, obviously because I make videos, proposals for making videos. That's one of them. Then I get video editors that want to edit my videos, make thumbnails, and those are a totally different category. I wanna draft a different reply, or maybe I just don't wanna draft a reply. I wanna do that manually. Then I have updates. So I got a lot of app application updates because I sign up to a bunch of these and I wanna categorize those. And that's how I'm gonna separate the categories. So just to give you an idea, in the future, you're gonna make these even better. You're gonna go ahead and edit these and change it to your own needs. So in this case, this is the way I wrote it. And basically this is how I'm getting, I'm getting started. I'm going to improve this in the future. So remember, connect your account, go to categories, create your categories. Then we're gonna jump into the rules. And this is where the most important part is, but do, do the other things first, right? Okay, so the rules are numberized right here from one, two, three, four, five, and rules are gonna work in a waterfall mode. So that means that if the first rule is active, it's not gonna jump into rule two, three, or four. Don't worry, there's a way to potentially use this without getting a confliction, okay? So right now, here's one of the rules that I created, okay? So let me go ahead and edit this. And the rule here is for the service request. That is one of my categories that I requested. So in my rule right here, I wanna select categories, but you can use all these available rules to make your own automations. So in this case, I'm using category because I wanna focus on those type of emails that I'm receiving. So if it equals new proposals, then it's gonna do this. And I wanted to draft an email reply. Now you have the option to reply to everyone on the thread, add my email signature on the response, and it's just details that you can turn on or off. And you can remove this news branding because we're on the LTD plan. Then you have two options. What is the draft in this case? Well, I forgot to mention, you can do send email, draft, forward the email, or don't respond at all, okay? In this case, we're drafting. We wanna make things a little bit manual. You wanna take advantage of AI, but you wanna go ahead and jump and see if everything's fine, and then send it out, okay? So you have two options. You can use a template, so you can create a template that's gonna be just sent off, or you can take advantage of AI and write the custom prompt right here. Now, this is something really simple. That is not what I'm gonna use. Obviously, I'm gonna fine tune this to my own needs, but AI is gonna take it, it's, it's gonna do its job and it's gonna draft the reply for me. And I have the conversation mode in case I wanted to keep on drafting for me. So that's one of the rules here. So that means that if I get a service request email and if I make a new rule, it's not gonna jump into this next rule, okay? But what happens if I create a different rule? So I can say, for example, if the subject, and I'm gonna say right here, values, urgent, ASAP, or whatever, and I'm gonna name this urgent, here we go. It's going to, for example, I can forward the email to somewhere else. I can, again, draft the reply, remove the snooze. I'm gonna use template for now. Let's go ahead and add the rule. So, as I mentioned in the beginning, this works in the waterfall mode. So let's just say that the email is not for service. Well, it's gonna jump into the next rule, and if it hits that next rule, it's going to kick off that rule. So it's gonna send off the template in this case. And if no rule is triggered, then nothing is going to happen. But I do want you to understand that rules work in a manner of waterfall. So whatever you set, whatever you set first, it's gonna kick off. So for example, if two rules are similar to service request, the first one is gonna hit first. So it's gonna trigger first, okay? Now, I would highly recommend that you go through the rules. There's several available options, which I think is fantastic. 
to trigger these options which is pretty cool because you don't get those options in different type of automators okay now another cool feature about this is the test feature so you can make up an email or copy and paste in the email and see how that is going to perform so i i need your for example your video service let's go ahead and test this out and then we're going to see if it hit one of these rules so no rule match this one so something is going on there that's what testing face is for so you don't test that in live mode go ahead and test it from here and basically work on the rules or the categories something was not triggered correctly there and that's why we need to fix it so the testing phase is super awesome now once that's set up you're good to go and you can enable this now you can go into your users click on this little magic wand right here and enable it straight from here now you can enable this from specific dates and that would be useful for example if you go off on vacation and you just want to use snooze for vacation mode that works fantastic or certain hours so if you go to sleep well you want snooze to kick off which could be pretty useful, right? Or just all the time. So it depends how you want to enable snooze. You can disable it at any time and enable it whenever you want, which makes things super practical. Then you got your analytics for the actual usage. You got your settings. So depending on the plan that you are on, because there's a lifetime deal, you have the option to select from different AI models. So snooze is super easy to use once you watch this video, because you, I just explained how it's going to work. But if you get started from zero, I think it's kind of a little bit complex. And, and I think they really should work on that. I also would like to see more rule options where we have separate rules, not just work with the waterfall mode and just have every single rule right here, because it might get a, a bit too daunting. Maybe you add 20, 30 of these rules and it just might be too much. Maybe a different, a different way to figure out how rules can be worked out more easily or maybe add a feature where we can view the rules visually like Zapier where you can build visually the connections that might be a cool feature too now right now snooze is on a lifetime deal and as I mentioned before not everything is peaches and cream you got license tier one which I think is not the best option so 30 starting at $39 it's not the best option so I would recommend starting off from license tier two which gives you access to connect any mailbox, draft replies, auto delay replies, and AI training. You don't get access to these options on tier two. You would need to jump into license tier three. And if you want reporting and analytics, which is not too important, you have that on license tier four. And if you jump into, let me show you, because you got access to the email boxes, the monthly credits, and the AI model connections, which is tier four would be the best option because you get more options. But in tier five, you're going to get unlimited monthly AI credits. So if you are getting a ton of emails and so if you're getting a ton of emails from the inboxes that you're going to connect, then this would be the way to go because you're going to, you're not going to be limited with the usage of the AI. Plus you got access to the 25 plus models available in snooze. So definitely check out snooze. If you like my video and you want to grab snooze, do check out the link in the description, which is an affiliate link. If you buy through that link, it helps me out with a small commission and it's not going to cost you a single cent more than what it already says right here. So use my link and help me out. All right, that's a wrap for Snooze.